welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will simulate the simplest triple five oscillator using the KiCad tool before going into this tutorial I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below now let us start the circuit design double click on oscillator schematic file now click on place symbol and place the cursor on the schematic window from the library file type NE555 timer and place this particular symbol on the schematic window next we have to place the resistor and the capacitor and the voltage source for this particular design so click on the schematic window and in the library type p spice and we have to select the voltage source now place this particular voltage source in the schematic window next we have to place the ground connection for this particular voltage source so click on place port and type ground and place this particular ground connection now click on place global label and type PCC and place this particular global label click on wire connect the VCC to the voltage source now right click select properties edit property define the reference as VCC and select the DC value as 5 volt amplitude as 1 now click on place label and place the label VCC across the pin number 8 and click on wire connect the VCC pin to pin number 8 and again click on label and place the label across the pin number 4 that is VCC label now click on wire and connect the label to the pin number 4 now click on place symbol and we have to place the resistor and the capacitor so type CP1 and place this polarized capacitor in the circuit now click on wire and connect the pin number 5 to the capacitor next click on place port and place the ground connection across the pin number 1 so now click on wire and connect the capacitor to the ground connection and connect the pin number 1 to the ground now right click on the capacitor select properties edit property and define the reference as C2 and define the value as 100 nanofarad now similarly we have to place the resistor so click on wire and connect the pin number 2 to pin number 6 now click on place symbol and we have to type p spice in the filter and select the resistor place this particular resistor on the schematic window again we have to place the capacitor on the schematic window now right click on resistor select properties edit property define the reference as R1 and define the value as 3.3 kilo ohm next click on place wire and connect the resistor to the output of the triple five timer and connect the other end 
of resistor to the capacitor. Next, click on ground connection and place the ground across the capacitor. Next, click on place no connection and place this particular place no connection on pin number 7. Right click on triple five timer, select properties, edit property, define the reference as U1, click on edit spice model, select the model, click on select file and we have to select the appropriate model for this NE triple five timer. Select that and the type has to be subcircuit and click OK. Now we have to place the syntax in order to perform the transient analysis, AC analysis or DC analysis. So click on place and click on graphic text and type dot tran 4 milli 8 milli second and UIC which defines the initial condition. Place this on the schematic window. Now right click select properties edit property define the reference as C1 and define the value as 220 nanofarad. Now go to place select graphic text and type dot tran 4 milli, 8 milli second and click OK and place this on the schematic window. I think the condition which we defined previously was not defined. So now click on wire and connect the wire from pin number 2 and 6 in between the resistor and the capacitor R1 and here we have to define the initial condition. Now save this and click on tools, click on simulator, click on run and stop and place the probe across the pin number 3. You can see the output waveform. Now let us say we would like to place a resistor and the capacitor across the output. So click on place symbol and place the resistor and the capacitor across the output pin 3 of the oscillator and now place the ground connection across the capacitor. Now click on wire and connect the wire across the output of pin number 3 and connect the resistor to capacitor and capacitor to the ground. Now click on properties, edit property, define the reference as R2 and define the value as 10k. Right click on capacitor, click on property, define the reference as C3 and define the value as 10 nano farad and click OK. Now save this particular schematic, click on tool, click on simulator, click on run and stop, click on probe, place the probe across the resistor R2 and capacitor. Now we can see the sine wave You can see the, the simplest Wi-Fi oscillator circuit output. Now stop this and click on simulate and click on analyze and simulation. Now click on transient and click on output. Run this particular simulation. Now you can see the waveform for this particular design.
the basic free running a stable oscillator circuit connects pin 3 directly to timing capacitor via single resistor when the output at pin 3 is high capacitor charges up through resistor when the voltage across the capacitor reaches two third vcc pin 6 causes output at pin 3 to change state and go slow thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below